You mentioned that uh, it was, it was playing for country, which kept you going. Uh, was there a time where you thought, you know, I, I should just give up on this dream? Um, you know, you get those, you get those uh, thoughts, you know, especially when things aren't going well. But uh, I have a very supportive family, and tell me to um, to keep pushing forward. You know, that I've been dreaming about this since I was a little kid, and I don't want to, I don't want to quit till I get. To where I want to be, you know. I, I don't want to get to to quit till I know that I'm the best possible player that I can possibly be. And until I get to that point, I don't want to stop. You know, it's one of those things. So. Was there was there a specific moment where you thought that, or has it just been over the years the grind? It kind of wears you down. Or was there one instance where you thought I I can't do this anymore? Yeah, I, um, I would say the last couple of months of last year was really tough. Um, I was playing a lot of doubles. My ranking, I was in the, I was like 150 in the world in doubles. Pretty close, I thought, to breaking through, but just I end up losing like something like nine first rounds at the end of the year, and just it gets frustrating, you know. It's like I'm, I feel like a pretty positive guy, but it's hard to put a positive spin on those things and looking at the, looking at the good things that happen. But I think for me, at the end of the day. It's a privilege to get to do what I love for a living, you know, and I'm trying every day to look at it like that instead of thinking, whining about what's this isn't going my way, this is going, just be thankful and appreciative that I'm blessed that I get to do these things and hopefully it works out in, in my way, you know, but I feel like I do all the right things, I'm training really hard and I feel like it will go my way and I'll be able to, when I'm done with my career, I can be happy with the things that I've accomplished.